Hello everyone, welcome to Wire Network. To configure no IP dynamic DNS, DDNS, on an OpenWRT router, follow these step-by-step -step instructions. OpenWRT provides built-in support for DDNS via a package that can be easily installed and configured. NoIP is a popular dynamic DNS service provider that allows you to assign a fixed domain name to a dynamic IP address. Step 1. Install the DDNS Client Package Log into your OpenWRT router via Lucy Web Interface. Next, install the DDNS scripts, DDNS scripts no IP and Lucy app DDNS. Go to system then click the software. Click update lists. Next, install the DDNS scripts. Next, install Lucy App DDNS. Next, install DDNS scripts no IP. After finish, Reload your router's Lucy web interface. Step 2. Configure no IP DDNS. Go to services then click dynamic DNS. Next, click add new services. Set the name of the DDNS service. Select noip.com from the DDNS service provider drop-down list. Next, click Create Service button. Next, click the Edit option for the service you have created. Next, log into your noip account. Navigate to Dynamic DNS then click No IP Hostnames. Click Create Hostname button. Next, enter hostname as you wish to like. Next, select Domain to DDNS.net or as you wish to like from the drop-down list. Click Create Hostname button. Copy your hostname domain and paste it into the lookup hostname field. Next, enter your no IP domain in domain field. Next, go to no IP account. Click on create DDNS key. Click generate DDNS key. Next, copy the username and insert it into the username field on the OpenWRT router. Next, copy the password and insert it into the password field on the OpenWRT router. Click Save button. Next, check Enable then click Save and Apply. After saving the configuration, open the command prompt on your PC. 
Next, verify your domain name system record using the NS Lookup tool. Also check ping to your no IP domain. Step 3. Access remote desktop using DDNS. To configure port forwarding on a OpenWRT router, navigate to network then click firewall. Go to Port Forwarding tab. Click Add. Next, set the name of the Port Forward rule. Select Restrict Address Family to IPv4. Select Protocol to TCP. Select Source Zone to WAN. Under External Port Field, enter RDP Default Port. Select Destination Zone to LAN. Select your RDP system in the internal IP address field. In the internal port field, enter RDP default port number. Click Save. Click Save and Apply. 